Well, hello there. I am Jason Horsler, a music tutor working for the Kingston Music Service. I mainly teach ukulele and drums, but in this video, I want to help you get ready for online lessons. Now, for some of you, the things I'm going to say will be perfectly obvious, while for others, I'm hoping this will really help you get set for success. Let's start with lighting. Wherever you decide to receive your lessons, you need to consider where your light source is coming from. I mean, look at this video. You can hardly see anything because the pupil is in silhouette. But watch this. Isn't that much better? So the general rule in lighting is to have as much light as possible so that shadows are banned and always make sure that the light is coming from the sides or from the top or from the front but not from behind you where it will make it difficult for your tutor to see. Also make sure your lens is clean so that the image is clear. Look at the difference. Let's talk about camera mounting and camera angles. You might be shooting your lesson through a laptop, tablet or phone. You need to be innovative in your stand construction. Look at this wire contraption I put together just to hold a cell phone. Or you simply might be able to find a proper stand, such as this example. You must have something to hold your camera, as you will need to use both your hands to play your instrument. Having something you can move around during the lesson is vital, as your tutor might ask you to focus in or change the angles. In most cases, a tutor will not need to see your whole body. Nor do they need to see your face. What a tutor really needs to see is your hands as you play. Even so, it is important to consider the camera angles. Look at this example of a person playing a drum pad. It's not very helpful to a drum teacher, but when the camera is raised up, we get a better angle. Or how about this example? It's not too bad, but if we put the camera on this side, we can see in and see the pupil moving their fingers on the frets. As the weeks go by, you and your tutor will no doubt make even more adjustments so that your lessons become ever more efficient. But let us all get as prepared as possible in advance. For example, make sure you are all set up before the start of each of your lessons. Have your music stand, your instruction book, any printed material, and a metronome ready to go. The metronome can be an app on your phone or other device. It's really important to have a working metronome on your side of the camera conversation because there is always going to be a delay in video conferencing, so you will not be able to play with your tutor's metronome. Make sure, as best as you can, that your instrument is tuned up before the lesson starts. Buy a tuner and learn how to use it or ask someone at home to help you. There are many online videos that will advise you about how to do this. Also do some basic warm-ups beforehand so that you are ready to go from the moment your lesson starts. One last thing you can do to be prepared is to already start practicing using online conferencing. Now, you're probably already communicating with other people in your family who do not live in your house using software such as Skype, Zoom, or Google Hangouts, or something like that. The Kingston Music Service has opted to use Google Hangouts for all of our online lessons, so please make sure that you practice using this software ahead of your lessons. To get a good signal, you need to be as close as possible to your family's wireless router or you may want to get a repeater to strengthen the signal. Ask everyone in your family to go offline during your lesson so that you get the fullest possible signal strength. And that is all for now. We tutors are getting ready for this new adventure that will have all sorts of challenges, surprises and perhaps even advantages. We must all be patient and innovative. Never have we had so much time for practice. Let us use this opportunity to the fullest. Good luck, everybody.